The story goes on. Demonstrations followed by repression, followed by murder in the streets. And as these things seem to evolve, an event took place which may be the defining moment just yesterday in the struggle of the Iranian people to be able to peacefully disagree with their government, in this case because of a corrupt and fraudulent election, without being killed in the streets and beaten and imprisoned. And it has to do with a woman named Neda. And I quote from a ABC News story dated June 22nd, 2009. And I quote, she sinks to the ground and a few moments, minutes later she's dead. A video that has been repeatedly posted on the internet purports to show the last moments of Neda, a young Iranian woman shot in the heart by government sharpshooters. Overnight she has become a symbol of the opposition. Their shaky, blurred images, a young woman collapses onto the pavement, a dark pool of blood spreads beneath her body. Two men kneel next to the woman and press on her chest, screaming. The camera film, which is filming her, zooms in on her face. Her pupils roll to the side. Blood streams out of her nose and mouth. Netta, don't be afraid. Netta, stay with me. Netta, stay with me, cries one man. Another man beseeches someone to take her in a car. Then the footage stops. The video footage appeared on the social networking sites, Facebook and Twitter, on Saturday evening. It immediately became a viral sensation, being forwarded repeatedly. User groups were determined to get around YouTube's attempts to block the immensely graphic film. They posted the clip so often that it became impossible for YouTube to remove it. So. So, Mr. President, we've seen, as we have in cases of other brutal repression throughout history, the living example or the dying example of martyrdom. And by Sunday morning, Neda became the fifth most commented topic on Twitter. She had already become a kind of Joan of Arc. Quote, it took only one bullet to kill Neda. It'll take only one netta to stop Iranian tyranny, was one posting from Tehran on Twitter. Quote, netta died with open eyes. Shame on us who live with closed eyes. They killed netta, but not her voice was another. During the day, thousands of people replaced their profile pictures with tributes to the young woman, such as, I am netta or netta forever. Others posted images of a broken heart in green, the color of the opposition movement. So, Mr. President, a debate has been going on as to how much the United States of America, its president, the Congress, and the American people should speak out in favor and in support of these brave Iranians. Average age in Tehran is 33 years of age in their quest for the fundamentals of freedom and democracy that we have enjoyed for more than a couple of centuries. <laughs> so, Mr. President, today I and all America pays tribute to a brave young woman who was trying to exercise her fundamental human rights and was killed on the streets of Tehran. All Americans are with her, and our thoughts and our prayers for her 